winter time, we talk about several types of precipitation. Of course, there's snow, and then there's ice pellets or sleet, and then we have freezing rain. But the thing that you need to know is that it all starts as snow up there. You see, it all starts as snow at the top, but the atmosphere has layers. So as the snow starts to fall, well, it can go into an area of warmer temperatures, slightly above freezing. So our snowflake starts to melt from the outside in. You now have a water drop that has a little bit of an ice core in the center, but then it exits our warm area and goes back into the cold. That means our water starts to freeze again, but it doesn't reform as a snowflake. It just freezes like it is, a solid raindrop, if you will. It comes all the way down to the ground and could bounce, and we call that an ice pellet. Now, freezing rain works a bit differently. It does begin as a snowflake and begins to fall through the atmosphere. However, it enters a warm area that is much deeper, so that snowflake melts all the way down. And now it's just a regular old raindrop, and it continues all the way down to the ground. But here at the surface, it's actually below freezing still. So that liquid water hits the ground and freezes right on contact. It turns out that freezing rain is one of the worst types of precipitation, but no winter precipitation is much fun at all. So be careful out there. Keeping you safe for the Weather Network, I'm Jacqueline Woodall.